Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Klein, inventor of tumescent local anesthesia. In this video, I'm going to discuss the devices that are used for efficient tumescent infiltration of local anesthesia. This is uh, our infiltration pumps. They're peristaltic infiltration pumps. I'll speak to you also about the infiltration tubing, special tubing that uh, required to make the pump work, and finally, about the tumescent infiltration cannulas that are used in conjunction with this to provide large volume, painless, tumescent local anesthesia. So here is an example of a single spike infiltration tubing produced by HK Surgical. And uh, we open this up, it's sterile, it comes sterile. And we, op we open it up and here is the tubing, how it comes out. Uh, Take the wrappings off. Here, let's see. And the tubing has a clip on one side, a pinch clamp. And on the other end is the IV spike for the IV bag. And this is the silicon tubing portion that goes into the peristaltic pump. So this would fit in the peristaltic pump as this tubing is already placed in there, like that. There are rollers here that roll and, and propel the fluid in that direction. The tube, the pump is closed, and then we will eventually put uh, this spike into the tumescent bag, and then prime the pump by pumping fluid in through the tubing until it comes out the opposite end, and then we're ready to start clinical tumescent infiltration. So that is the single spike. This is a double spike, HK surgical double spike infiltration tubing. And this is designed to allow you to use two different bags of tumescent anesthesia. For example, if you're infiltrating a, a large volume of fluid and you're about to exhaust the first bag, if the second bag is already hung and ready to go, you just simply need to change, uh, close off one pinch clamp, open the second pinch clamp, and the person who's doing the infiltration can proceed without interruption. Otherwise, it, there's time where the infiltrator has to stop, change the bag, put the spike in the new bag and continue. That is a bit inefficient, so this improves efficiency. And here we have the infiltration tubing with two spikes going into two separate bags and one uh, tubing that comes out into the male lure lock attachment for connection to an infiltration cannula. And this is for the distal end of the infiltration tubing. Uh, so on occasion, it is more efficient to use two uh, Monte infiltration cannulas simultaneously. And I'll show you how this works. This is the infiltration tubing. Uh, that This would a female lure attachment. This would connect to the tubing here, like that. And then we would have two infiltration. This would come, the pump would pump fluid into this end and the fluid would come out this, this end. And we can attach two infiltration cannulas. So like that. And then we place both of them under through uh, the skin, through adits, and place these uh, under the skin carefully. And while one is pumping, the other one can be pumping, and then when we want to change positions, we would simply clamp that off, that, that pinch spike, remove it, reinsert it in another adit, in another position in, under the skin, all the while this one is continuing to infiltrate. So we can. Uh, then open this one, then clamp this one, 
and, and move them interchangeably, uh, uh, alternately between one area and the next and never stop infiltrating. So that's another form of, uh, of efficient tumescent infiltration and all the while it is a, a painless procedure. This is a tumescent infiltration pump. This is an analog pump. It has a simple dial that to change this, the rate of infiltration. And this is a, mo a more uh, sophisticated version of a infiltration, a uh, tumescent infiltration pump. It's a digital version and you can uh, select the exact number of milliliters per minute flow rate and even uh, choose the exact volume that you want to infiltrate before the pump stops. So th this is a little uh, more advanced version. But I'll use, I'll demonstrate with the simple version here how this works. So we have the infl single spike infiltration tubing <coughs> and I'm going to take the tip off the spike. This is all done typically in sterile conditions. I, uh, this would be sterile of course. We start Remove the cap here. And then insert the spike into the receptacle. So while this is being done, I can see that this is not for IV use, only for tumescent local anesthesia. Now <clears throat> The, the fluid is ready to go into the tubing. We'll clamp this down. And uh, I have this bucket here. I'll show you the, how this works. So now we step on a pedal, start the pump with the foot pedal, and the fluid is now coming out of the reservoir bag and, and going through the pump and now coming out here. So we are collect we are, this is how the tumescent infiltration pump works. Trying to infiltrate large volumes of tumescent anesthesia by hand using a syringe is very tedious and eventually very difficult for the person doing the infiltration. Now I will turn the rate up a bit you can see that this can pump quite a bit of fluid <clears throat> but typically when we're infiltrating under local anesthesia or the patient wide awake we uh, go at a more moderate rate so that it's not uncomfortable for the patient okay. so just to review and I'll put the clamp on here the pinch clamp just to review how it's, this is going the fluid comes out of a tumescent local anesthetic bag, the solution of tumescent local anesthesia. It comes through the spike, through the tubing, goes up through the silicone tubing that fits into the roller pump. Push this closed. Now the rollers will push the fluid through the tubing and out, out the distal male lure attachment. And that's where the infiltration cannula is attached. Right. Now we're ready to do large volume tumescent local anesthesia. Here. Now, here I'm, I'm attaching a 20 gauge, three and a half inch long spinal needle to the infiltration tubing. And uh, we'll see how this comes out. There you can see that it comes out quickly. This is a tip Monty. Let's see how the fluid comes out here. Can you see the spray coming out there? Just out of the tip. This is the half Monty. You can see the fluid coming out, just the distal part there. Yeah. 
finally, the, this is the full monte. The, the apertures, the holes of the cannula extend all the way to about here. So fluid is coming out of, of the entire length of the infiltration cannula. Okay. So I've had the opportunity now to show you the device component of tumescent local anesthesia. It consists of a peristaltic infiltration pump, a then we have the tumescent infiltration tubing, and finally the tumescent infiltration cannulas. Put these together and it provides painless local anesthesia, large volume tumescent lidocaine. If you should like some more academic information about tumescent lidocaine anesthesia, go to tumescent.org. If you'd like information about the surgical devices and tumescent infiltration equipment, go to hksurgical.com. Thanks.